All right, guys, we're going to try something a little different today. Today I have loaded into the world. We have got to find four supply crates as part as as part of the uh, main story mission. But I'm doing I'm doing this with some randoms. So I've got three other people in here. This is my hoverboard from last episode. Awesome way to get around, by the way. Uh, but I've got three other people in here. So hopefully we can do the defense okay. Because if I collect all four of these, but we don't defend this level 15 zone mission... Uh, then it's not going to count these four supply crates that I'm looking for. And we'll get no progress on the update. So let's keep looking around. And you know what? While we're here, we might as well do these teddy bears. And deploy them. And we'll get a... Re we need two more. So we need one more, actually. So that'll be awesome. I got to ride around to all of these exclamation marks. Okay. So when you get hit when you're on your... um. When you're on your uh, hoverboard, it, like, instantly breaks. You have to pull it back out. But it takes a few seconds to actually pull it out. Uh, but, boom, we're back on it just like that. So, and you can't see it. It's invisible. Don't worry about that. That's fine. That's completely normal. And I need to find... Oh, my goodness. Get up. Get up over the... Okay. We're stuck. And this is our life now. All right, hang on. I'm going to find these medical crates. Nothing's going to stop me. None of the husks. Nothing. There is an exclamation mark right here, but I don't see anything. What is it? And where is it? I literally don't see a thing. It says it's right there. Oh, there is something on that pole. What is that? It's on the other side of the pole. We'll check it out. Hang on. Let me kill these dudes. Don't you throw that at me. You keep your bones to yourself, friend. And I'll keep my bullets to your face. All right. Whatever this is, is inside of you. A tape. A tape. Footage found. But that's not what we're looking for. There's no shortage of things to find in this game. I'm telling you, man. There's like 40 different like little fun side quests for searching for stuff, which kind of makes the map a big cluster. It's kind of hard to find what you're actually looking for, because as you can see, the minimap right now is filled with nonsense. It's nonsense. They should do the exclamation marks a different color for the main quest stuff. But then I guess that's too easy, right? But there might be one over here in this corner. I'm going to go check it out. I'm going to go check it out. We got Fire Tiger on the map with us. What up, Fire Tiger? You see anything interesting over here, bud? I'm looking for something very specific. Could be right here. Ah, oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. Fire Tiger might be looking for it, too. Boom. Maybe he's helping me out. I don't know. I don't know if these guys are doing the same mission. They're obviously in the same world as me. But does that mean they're doing the same exact mission as me? I have no idea. No idea how that works. But the search continues. Hey, there's another teddy right here. I think this will be the last one we're looking for. So if we do end up beating this mission, then we'll get credit for that. And obviously, I think that's actually a new hero with one of the uh, new skins, the bunny rabbit costume, I think. So we'll have to wait and see. Hey, another medical supply right here. Awesome. Grab that. Or not medical supply, but supplies. That's two out of four. I need to find two more. You okay, buddy? I got your back. I got your back. Let's save the survivor real quick. Always good to save a survivor or two. Got him. All right, you're safe. You're safe. Give me a present. And I see another CCT tape right there. CCTV. All right, cool. Got a surprise. Got another tape. So three out of six footage found. I don't think that's main mission stuff. Uh, rather another side quest. Much like these teddy bears. Uh, but always good to collect them. Speaking of which, wow. They are everywhere. Got another one. So hopefully my teammates aren't like over there at the Atlas already like getting ready for fighting because I really don't want to miss out on getting the stuff I need. That's the one thing I wonder how it works. Like, do all teammates need to go ready up on the Atlas? Or, you know, Lars's van or whatever it is you might be doing? We got a survivor over in here in, in need of help over here. I think Pat's fan's got him. Let's see what's down here, Pat's fan. Come on. First one to find the chest wins. I don't think there's a chest in here. I lost. I can't believe it. You're the best. Oh, thanks, bud. Got free rewards because my teammates are out there saving survivors. Awesome. The search continues. Two more supply crates to find. Look. <laughs> and I found another one. Every time I go to search for one, it's like seconds away. And I find it each and every time. All right, one more to go. And then I'm happy, dudes. So I'm happy. We could go, like, go over to the Atlas and kind of start gearing up for it. As you see, I have, like, no resources right now. So I'm not going to be much help in building. But, you know... Where I lack in building, I have a gun, and I can help them defend it, and hopefully they can do more builds. Which, why are we being swarmed in here? This isn't good. I don't want to be backed into a corner. 
All right, thank you. We're good, we're good. We're good. Let's do a little searching real quick. Get something. Get some kind of stuff for our troubles. Uh, I got some ammo right here. Take that. What's in the box? Some crafting stuff. All right, all right. Uh, let's roll out. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did I just get an impulse grenade? Yeah, I keep getting impulse grenades, but I can't seem to use them ever. I don't even know where they're at. I can't find them in my inventory anywhere ever. So I don't quite get the impulse grenades. Maybe it's something we unlock in the skill tree later on. Um, or by evolving your hero. But as it stands right now, I have not been able to figure out how to use the... You? Ah, I got it out before you broke it. But so far, I've not been able to figure out how to use these impulse grenades. And there is the last one right here, gang. I am happy. All supplies gathered. Lars is very happy. That's for, uh, I guess, for Lars. I don't know what he's going to be doing with them. All right, I got some blue glow here. I need to go over to the Atlas, I think. And let's go help the dudes out. Let's start building or something. Defend the Atlas. Yeah, someone's already started it up, so. We got seven minutes. They're over there defending it already. So I better get over there right now and help these dudes out. But first, hey, there's a CCTV tape. Let's get that. Man, if only I could find one more before this is over. We can get credit for that too. But I think helping the homies out first might be number one priority. So this dude's just done a straight up like dome build here. Does he have a door anywhere? Can I edit his stuff? Oh crap. All right, I got the back, brother. I got the back, don't worry about it. All right, we should probably get up there and help him, though. All jokes aside, let's get up there and help him. Where are these husk at? They're all in front. Okay, not a big deal. Ha, nope, didn't make it. I wanna build, I guess I can build up to him. I'll just stand out front, why not? Use my, use my AA-12, my baddie shotgun here. Oh, this dude's like a shadow ninja, what is that? That is pretty cool. Yeah, I'll just stand out front with a shotgun, why not? And, check it out! Throwing stars! The last one now splits into two. Don't know if I mentioned that before. But it used to be 1-1-1, one, 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 meaning one throwing star, one throwing star, one throwing star. Now it's 1-1-2. One, one, so the last one she throws out splits off in two because I evolved her up a little bit. It right, looks like we're fine here. Dudes are handling it quite well. So this is an interesting build. This is kind of what I've done over at home base lately. I'm just upgrading these a little bit. Oh, goodness. Let's help out. Yeah, I've been, I've been definitely... Okay, that's not the gun we want to use. I've been upgrading home base a lot, making some changes, so our next storm shield defense will be a little bit easier for us. And I'll probably invite some randoms to help me out with that, too. It might be the way to go here on out, guys. It's just to use some randoms to help you, man, because this is getting harder and harder every single time. I've also upgraded within the skill tree my ability to upgrade uh, my walls and stuff times three now. So now, instead of just one upgrade, and then and now we can do another one behind it. I don't know if I just did those three times or not, but they're definitely upgraded a lot more. So that's going to hold pretty well. Okay, so they're coming from this way this time. Let's go over here and help out. Eh. So where's the ramp? How would they get up from this way? Right here. Okay. So basically, we just stand up here and just cut them off. Cut them off. Where's the rest of my team at, though? They, oh, they're over there. Okay. They're around. They're around. Yeah, this dude's crazy. He's just... They just go for it, huh? I guess when you have this many players, it's a smart way to do it. Everybody just get in there and kill some, some baddies. Chinese throwing star. And I can drop bombs in a minute, too. I think we'll save that, though. If we see another big guy or something. Our fort is being attacked somehow. Right, it looks like Pat's fans got it. I got your back, brother. I got your back. Here, let me do a little upgrading with you. Okay, we gotta wait for those to finish building. Then we can help upgrade a little bit. I got 80 brick on me, so we can upgrade those outer walls. A touch. A touch. There you go, ninja friend. Here, let's do this. Boop. And boop. All right. Hopefully, you guys are having a great Easter. This will be out on Easter. Now, I am traveling next week a little bit. Uh, so, I'll be out Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. But I will make sure to have one Fortnite video. Uh, let's see. If it's Sunday, we'll probably skip Monday. So, we'll have one Tuesday for sure. And then again, probably have one on Thursday. Um, so you'll get your Fortnite content, even though I'll be out of town. So I just need to do some recording ahead of time. And you guys want to leave in the comment section, uh, when in God's name do I unlock Horde mode? I heard there was a mode uh, where it's just waves of these dudes and you build kind of a base. Unless someone was making that up. I think that's in the game. When do I unlock that? Because I think that'll be fun from time to time to throw Horde mode in the mix while doing these missions and stuff. It'd be fun. Let me know. Let me know if that's a thing. Also, drop a like, guys. 
Thank you for your continued support. If you're new around here, do not forget to subscribe with notifications turned on. Make sure you click that bell, man. YouTube is not shy. Lately, they've been talking about how people will not get all of your videos unless they hit that button, that bell and turn on notifications. So just make sure that's something you're doing so you're not missing any of the uploads. Thank you very much. Love you and I mean it. Let's go over here. Looks like we got some new guys spawning. About three and a half minutes left of this. Won't be a problem. I got it from here. All right, are they coming? Where are they going? Did y'all walk around? Bad guys! Where are you? Oh, here they come. I just answered my own question. Let's do this. And let's greet them. Let's greet them with a nice little bit of raining fire on them. I handled it, Patriots fan. I handled it. Everything's fine. This dude's just running around with a sword. Dude, swords are so much fun in this game. Or I guess any melee. And on the skill tree, I found out that you can get, like, secondary attacks for all the different types of melees. So maybe even a third attack, eventually, once we get into skill tree 2, which I am very, very close to fully completing skill tree 1. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing the differences in skill tree 2. But, like, your axes and baseball bats and crowbars, swords, stuff like that, all get, like, separate uh, secondary attacks once you upgrade each one of them individually in the skill tree. Kind of, kind of, sort of thing. And so, looking forward to doing that because I'm having a lot of fun with the melees and the ninja character. But today, we're using a gun. No doubt about it. Get out of here, you. Are we fully surrounded, being attacked from all sides? I think we might be. I'm just sitting over here yapping, guys. Oh, yeah, look at this guy. Look at these guys. Yeah, I'll watch this side then, I guess. They're coming up the side here. Let me just repair that. We got someone in their building. That's good, at least. Uh, where did you guys come from? They came up this ramp here. No, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I think primarily they're all coming from here. Okay, I see what you're doing. You're just going right around the fence there. We got some stragglers that are breaking off from this pack up here. That's what's happening. Hey, buddy. How about a throwing star? Gotcha. Gotcha. A minute and a half, uh, or a minute and 51 seconds left. Boy, I kind of wish I had saved my explosion for this guy. Hey, teammates. Teammates. Do you see this thing? Help me. Help me help myself with him. All right. We're just going to let him go past. I don't think the teammates... Oh, thank you. Someone's helping. I see lots of bullets coming in now. There we go. I had to reload. Wasn't getting any shots in for a second. Uh-oh. Beehive guy. Got him. No problem. No problem. Big man down as well. Other big man just strolling right on through the bushes here. Don't think so. I don't think so. Let me take that. And what do we got? A couple more coming up the ramp here. Piece of cake. I like these throwing stars. They're not doing a lot of damage on... Actually, I hit him with all of them, and it took more than half of his health away. So they are doing pretty good damage. And like I said, we'll get more and more throwing stars as I keep evolving this particular hero here, who I really, really, really like. Definitely going to keep evolving her. Cost a lot of hero XP to do it. Totally worth it. Plus, I got to, like... I think I have to unlock another skill in the skill tree for ninjas specifically to fully evolve them. Oh, beehive guy really screwing me up here. Y'all gonna have to get through that brick wall that I upgraded. It's gonna take you a little bit longer. Oh, getting, they seem to be getting through just fine. Got him, got him, got him. All right, let me repair that. All right, perfect. No, no, no husk. I just fixed that. Don't do it. All right, all headshots for this guy. Boom, melted. 17 seconds left. This one's done. Oh, another big guy coming. Yeah, even those ninja stars do a little bit of damage to the big, big guy. All right, take it easy, friend. Let's shoot some fireworks on him. It's the, the tree is confusing him. Look at him. He just doesn't know what to do. Awesome. Thank goodness for Patriots fan. Who else was on here helping us? Fire Tiger and Saltine. Because I don't know that I'd have been able to do this one by myself. So, shout out to the crew there of randoms. Because we got the main story mission done. And I believe we got the two teddy bears as well. Plus, we just did a level plus 15 uh, defend the atlas. So, we should get like three rewards plus whatever loot chest we get. We're going to go back and check it all out. All right. So, we got some level four loot right there. Some XP, more XP, and some shamrock dollars. And these are the envelopes. The supply run. That was the four supply Alton crates we collected. Lost everything we've got on the broadcaster's last known location. All right. So Ray's happy with us. What do we get, Ray? Oh, nice. Our first RPG. We haven't had a rocket launcher since we started playing. So that one's pretty cool. I'll take it. 
Well, I guess we technically did. We have an event, uh, an event launcher, but that's our first like normal RPG. So I'm pretty happy. This one was Eldritch Abomination Stage Two. I think that was maybe killing the giant guys there. Uh, apparently, we killed enough of those to get us a reward. And it is a uh, power cell for crafting. So that's a crafting item, a rare one. And then Bear Force One, launching the bears. So do we get a hero for this? Yes, we do. Love Jones, I uh, love Ranger Jonesy. This is like the statue guy. So we didn't get the, uh, I wanna get the bunny rabbit suit guy. I don't remember how to get him, but we're gonna be working on that for sure. And then hero training stage two, great. Didn't even know we did that, but there we go. Training manual, books full of knowledge used to evolve survivors and heroes can be found by retiring rare survivors and heroes or in mission rewards, awesome. So here's our new hero right here. He comes with a shockwave, uh, which is uh, that kind of knockback I was doing in last episode. Also, once you evolve him, he's gonna have the ability to throw frag grenades, plus all the cool stuff as you rank him up. Level two, debilitating shots, level five, survivalist, level eight, assault damage, level 12. Does he have anything else really cool? Yeah, evolve him to stage three, and you can get the minigun for him as well. So you can have grenades, minigun, and the shockwave. I don't know if it'll let you do them all at once or how that works, but uh, that's cool. And then level 30 is a flak vest. That would be dope. All right, so we might use him in the next episode just to check it out. We haven't used, I don't think we've used a guy once. It's all female characters so far. All right, so before we go, uh, I wanted to show you that I have been working on the home base. Instead of tearing this all down because it's made of brick, now that I can upgrade times three on the brick, uh, this is 1300 health for each wall. And these smaller walls aren't that bad either. 730. Uh, I just figured we'd start upgrading all this. And I've been laying down traps as I can afford to build them. So traps all around. This is the uh, the main shield. Over here was the little castle we built last episode. And actually, now that I've been able to upgrade my stone three times, it actually does look like a kind of a little castle now. Laid out a bunch of traps here as well as upgrade the outer wall as much as I could. I'll have to keep doing it because I'm not finished with this one yet. Ultimately, this one right here is gonna look like what I've done over at the uh, the Amplifier A. I've kind of made like a little dome over here, like a little pit, right? So this is the outer wall all the way upgraded, pretty stacked on health there. Inner wall is the small walls. Uh, and then the, the main base has got plenty of health on it now. We can just peek over the edge and shoot. They'll have to go through the walls. If I have to jump down, I also made doors everywhere so I can get back in like that. I made one on each side so we can get in. And yeah, this has been what I've been doing kind of uh, in between streams here. I'm just gonna get all three of my, ampli my two amplifiers and the one main thing fully upgraded, ready to go for the next storm shield defense, whenever that may be. But we gotta complete some more main story missions before they let us do that. But there you go, guys. Thank you for joining me in today's episode. I really appreciate the support and I will see you uh, next time. <laughs>